The series of paintings that I have here, they span from 2000. 10 to, to just a couple months ago, which is 2013. And the gallery, Couch Gallery in Victoria on Broad Street, um, we put these in and we put these in. There's two or three different artists here and they worked really well together because it, I think each of the paintings for of the artists are, are quite personal. This one here is called um, Past and Present. And I think you get to a point in your life where the past and the present they do meet and you kind of have to confront it and and just sort of um, meet it on equal terms and just agree to go okay here we are together so you are how i got here come on in and so you are how i got here and this is where i'm going to go so this one is just about that there was a lot of stuff that had gone on there underneath and that's very typical of me when i'm painting i like to sort of build it up make it very busy and then sort of sort it out sometimes paint over it completely and start rubbing things out and after that that's when i start to see what happens and i write at the same time and i start to decipher what is actually going on in the painting and in my head at the same time so this one i rarely use pink too and so this one was sort of a, uh, a culmination of ideas that was a matter of meeting myself, like looking at myself in the mirror where past and present do meet, and that allowed me to continue on. And the fact that I chose pink, I think that's kind of unusual because it's, it is, I have used it before, but not to this extent within one painting, and I think it's almost like a, a renewal. It's like, okay, let's try something new, and let's just continue on. After that one, I did um, this one here. This one's called House. A, a lot of these paintings are very similar because they are a series, but they're very similar in the way of thinking. They're about discerning ideas, figuring out what is going on, where I'm going. And this one, like Past and Present, House, is, is more about uh, sort of sort of referring to like the house of the soul. So sort of this is where I reside. And I wanted it to be very solid. I wanted it to have a feel of, of, of weight and solid and, and all good. And I liked the feeling of it being open but yet closed because it houses all of me and the ideas that, that it took to get there. But it also has transparencies in it as well. I'm not blocking things out. I'm keeping myself still quite open. So the whole realm of the show deals with those kind of ideas. And the first one that I started with is in the very back here, and it's the largest. And it's the only one in the show called, it, or that is done in oils. I tend to only work in oils now in my studio at home in the summertime, mainly because I can open up the windows and doors and there's better ventilation. So um, anyway, this one is large, and it didn't start off um, with this in mind. It actually was a completely different painting. It hung in a different gallery. I brought it home after two years and I looked at it and went, okay, I don't like it. So I painted over it and then I painted over again. And I have, not with me here, but I have five different images of sort of the development of, of the painting and they're so different. I actually had a friend of mine come over and he had never painted in oils. So I asked him if he wanted to just play with it, so he did. And but then it was, it was too much him, and it wasn't a collaborative painting. It was just him playing with the paint. So I changed it and changed it again, and then it ended up being something so different. And it's much more landscapey, much more structural, much more architectural. And it's it's about allowing all those ideas to filter down. And as they filter down, you, you allow them, you get rid of things. I mean, it's a filter. So you, you get rid of things, you discard things, you keep certain things. And as I was painting it, the structures that were starting to, to show up in it were, um, they reminded me of when I was in a train station in Germany. And there were all these little ports, these portals that I could go through. It was door number one, door number two, door number three. Which ones do I choose? And that's sort of what it reminded me of. So I liked the, the idea, the metaphor of it being making choices. So if, you, if we can look back here, it's called fodder. Of course, fodder, I spent a lot of time on a farm in Saskatchewan when I was growing up. So fodder is chicken feed, it's cow feed. It's just the excess. Fodder in, in this particular painting is 
um, the numbers. It is the numbers in the creative process and how when you're painting, and I've described this in, in many times before, when I'm painting, it's, it's like a big tornado and everything kind of circles down and ideas get discarded, ideas get kept. And so the very point of that tornado, things pop out. So when I was at that train station in Germany, and I was looking at all those doors, and that's when, when I was painting, this kind of painting sort of evolved from that sort of memory, it eventually evolved. But it was about making decisions, and that's why I put the two together. I thought, this is more about creativity. So this painting is purely about creativity. It's about the ideas, it's about your attachment and your disengagement to ideas, and letting things go, and just sort of discovering what happens along the way when you sort of get rid of things that are not so important and you concentrate on just the ideas that are important. And as a result, I came up with, with this painting and I have to say, this one was done in 2010 and um, I, this is large, it's about 53 by 55 inches on canvas in oils, as I said. To me, this is a really, really strong painting, and I think for me personally, probably the strongest, because it was when I really did visually put um, to my ideas the whole concept of getting rid of ideas as I paint and, and sort of put it in something that was visual that could kind of make sense, like a, like a cattle call kind of thing marching down the, the aisleway. So, so that's about it.